Have you ever ridden the chair over your local terrain park and always wanted to try, but see people flying around and maybe get a bit intimidated? Well, the good news is the terrain park is a really friendly place, as long as you know the etiquette. When you first get to the terrain park and you're unsure where to start, you'll usually find a sign like this with a set of rules. These rules generally apply to most terrain parks around the world, so we're gonna go over them. The first thing to know about terrain park etiquette and the most important is that the typical rule of downhill skier gets the right of way on a normal piste doesn't apply in the terrain park. The main reason for this being is that a lot of the times you can't see the landing of a feature from the top. So this rule is to keep people safe in the terrain park. So like this jump here, even though it's small, we'll notice that the people disappear after they ski over the landing. This is especially true if they fall, then they might be lying down and you won't be able to see them. So for example, if I were to drop in and ski down this landing and I didn't look and someone comes over the jump and hits me, it would be my fault because the uphill skier actually has the right of way when they're hitting the future. So obviously if someone's fallen in the landing, it's a bit different. If you've fallen and you're okay, make sure you get out of the way quickly. If you're the person hitting the feature, make sure you give enough time so that you can see them ride out of the feature and ensure there's no one in the landing. So now we're about to traverse across to go hit the rails. This is okay to do, but just make sure you look up and make sure no one's dropping in before you cross. The same rule we just covered on the jumps also applies to a rail. The person hitting the rail has right of way and anyone occupying the space around or below the rail that were to get hit would be at fault. So where I'm standing now is technically safe because I'm not in anyone's way, although it's not ideal because I'm quite close to the lip. It's better than standing directly next to or below the rail. Where I'm standing now is a no-go because if someone were to hit the rail, I'm directly in their way. Although it's technically safe because there's nobody coming, standing next to the rail or especially sitting on it is no-go. Rails are not benches. So same applies when you're below a feature, just make sure you're out of the way of the landing. Right here, I'm safe. If I were to cross to say over here, now I'm directly in the way and this is not good. So although where I'm standing now is safe in terms of this jump, there's multiple features in the terrain park that you can hit from all sorts of angles and now I'm in the way of this rail. So it's really important to be aware of all of your surroundings before you stop in the park. All right, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna just stand exactly where you shouldn't on this jump. Just checking to make sure no one's coming in to hit the jump. After this guy, I should be good to go. First and foremost, don't stand here. Don't stand in the way anywhere before the takeoff. Also, don't stand in between the jump and the knuckle. Don't stand on the knuckle or anywhere below the knuckle. That one's especially important because nobody can see you. So as I go over the knuckle, you'll notice that I disappear and now I'm out of sight from the top. So don't stay standing below the knuckle ever. So in terms of where to stand on the knuckle, where I am now is fine. And you'll actually notice a lot of people standing in this exact spot. They might be coaches or filmers of the riders coming over the jump, but anywhere below where it sort of starts to convex, that isn't safe. And you'll notice that a lot of people drift or carve their tricks and can land anywhere on either side of the landing. Although where I'm standing now may seem safe because it's off to the side, people often carve or drift their tricks so they can land anywhere on the landing. So even standing off to the side is not safe. Especially if you can't see the rider dropping in, that means they can't see you and they can hit you. So you'll notice a lot of people will hit the side of the rail lips like that as a jump. And while this isn't technically prohibited, it's very frowned upon in the park and it's not a great way to make friends. That's because the person hitting the feature indefinitely has the right of way. It can also ruin the takeoff, which makes it harder to hit the feature. So sometimes there are exceptions to the rule about the lip of the rails, like this wall feature here. You'll notice that there's a bit of a jump next to it and some people will be hitting that. It's a bit of a gray area as to who has priority, the person hitting the wall or the person hitting the jump. The best way to avoid this is to drop one at a time and make sure you're giving enough space to the rider in front of you. So pretty much all parks will mark the difficulty of their features. In North America, that's usually a standard small, medium, large, extra large. Right now we're in Europe and this particular park is using a color system. So this one's red, which means medium. And we know that because we checked out their system at the top. So it's important to be familiar with what your local hill uses. Also remember that these grading scales are subjective to the park builders and also relative to the sizes of the feature in that park. So a medium at one mountain could be a large at a different mountain. So when you go to a new park, don't just assume you can hit something because it's the same grade as a feature you hit at another park. It could be much bigger. 
So always check out the features up close before you hit them. So some features like this hip, for instance, it's a little less obvious where the landing is versus a traditional jump or rail. The easiest thing to avoid an accident in this area is to just treat the whole thing as a landing and don't stand anywhere near it. Holy f <laughs> So as you just noticed on that feature, I was coming across the wall ride and that person came flying off the jump beside me. In that case, I was in the right because I was the downhill skier hitting the feature and she came from the other side and almost hit me. So remember that when you're exiting the park, you're often re-entering the regular slope and the rule of downhill skier comes back into effect. So remember to act safely after you exit the park. So you'll notice that most parks will have a rule about calling your drop, but then you'll probably notice that most people don't actually say drop in when they're dropping in, just because there's some sort of mutual understanding up top about whose turn it is. However, if you're unsure if it's your turn, you can still call drop and people will respect you. If you're not sure about the speed for a feature, it's best practice to watch someone who's a similar size to you and looks like they know what they're doing. In some cases, you may ask someone if you can follow alongside and follow them into the jump, but don't hit it at the same time as them. Just go to the knuckle and see where they land so you know what the speed is like. Yo, man, is it okay if I follow you into this jump? Yeah, of course. Okay, sweet. So we just followed that guy in and I noticed that he landed right at the top of the landing, pretty much sweet spot. Could go a little bit faster, but now I'm confident that next time if I come in and follow the same line, I'm gonna clear the jump. So there's two hand signals we use in the park to communicate at distance whether a feature is clear to hit or not. So this means open and this means closed. If you're ever standing on the knuckle and your friend or someone else crashes, make sure to throw up the X so everyone knows at the top not to hit it. And then once they've cleared the landing, you can throw up the open to let everyone know it's open and fine to hit again. Thank you for watching. We hope this video gave you some confidence to enter your local terrain park and progress your skiing. If you want to learn tricks or anything, we have a whole host of other videos you can go watch. Right there. Click the link. It's right here.